Hello again everyone, my name is uh, Daniel Desjardins and I wanted to give you guys an insider look at the uh, Canadian Space Agency's uh, application form on their website. I'm going to type in jobs.gc.ca, bringing us to the main homepage. And once we arrive on the page, um, you create an account if you don't already have one. In my case, I'll log in and you're at the homepage. So here in the My Jobs menu, I'll go into Job Applications, and here it is, the status of my application. So here on the left, uh, for the advertisement uh, information, uh, we see the closing date is 15 of August, so that's coming up pretty soon, so that's why today I'm going to finally submit it. Um, this is also where you'd find more important information and, and whatnot. All right, so on the right here under Requirements, these are the different parts that I had to... Uh, that I had to fill out in order to submit the application. Um, under covering letter, I had to write a thousand words uh, detailing uh, what motivates me and what makes me a potentially uh, good uh, candidate for the astronaut program. After that, uh, I had to fill out obviously a resume uh, detailing uh, more about me, educational info, um, where I worked, uh, projects I've uh, participated in, and um, essentially just a more in-depth uh, background of um, who I am and uh, what makes me a good candidate for the space program. Uh, screening questions. This took a while to answer, but as you can see, there are many, many, many questions. Uh, you can't really say yes to all of them. It, uh, it's very experience-based. Um, it asks a bunch of questions like, do you have experience in working in laboratories, for example? And we have to detail, if we say yes, examples, uh, experience, duties, duration, level of responsibility, complexity of work, and objectives achieved. And as you can see, there are, there are several questions that are designed to probe your experience in uh, many fields. And there are, there are several, several questions. So this took a little, little, lot of time, a lot of thinking there to, to properly answer. Um, tests, if we go in here, um, there'll be the public service entrance exam to do eventually if we uh, make it through the initial cut for selection. Work locations um, is asking us if we're prepared to and willing to work outside of Canada. Of course, uh, if we make the cut, uh, there'll be a lot of training, um, not just uh, here in uh, North America, but uh, also overseas. Employment tenure. Uh, we're willing to accept a permanent full-time job. It's uh, almost self-obvious. Education. This is where we put a uh, little more details of what we studied and uh, at what institution. Under languages, this is where I'd say, okay, well, I've, I've uh, studied French and English. And... Finally, uh, under employment equity, uh, this is where we can self-declare if we're a member of an employment equity group. And that's it. Uh, my application is complete. I'm now submitting, and uh, here goes nothing. We'll, we'll see how it comes out. And I agree with the information is uh, true and complete. There we go. And now we wait to see what happens.